Welcome to My Vision Express. This video tutorial will show you how to use the patient profile. The following topics will be covered in this video. You will know how to open an existing or a new patient profile, the Profile and Demographics tab, the Insurance and Vision Rx tab, Files and History, Families tab, BSP Packing Slips and Health, Custom Fields and Interactions tab. To access the patient profile, you can go to File, Patients from the main menu. You can also click on the Patients button in the main toolbar or press Ctrl P in your keyboard. Open an existing patient profile or add a new patient profile. Once you access the patient profile, you will get a search patient window. In this window, you will see that you have a history radio button. When the history radio button is selected in the search patient screen, a list of the patient profiles that have been created or modified throughout the day will be displayed. You will also see the search radio button. In the search patient panel, you can specify your search criteria and click on search to find the matching patient records. Your search criteria may be as specific or as general as you want. If you leave the search criteria in blank, the system will list every patient in the database when you click the search button. Once you have searched your patient, if you place the cursor over the patient's first or last name in the search results, it will show the patient's picture if one exists in the profile. Highlight the patient record that you want to modify and click the select button to open it. To open a new patient profile, simply select the add button on the right hand side. The profile tab. This contains basic patient information. Once the patient profile has opened, you can specify the basic patient information under the profile tab. Although most of the fields here are self-explanatory, you should take the following points into account. Make sure that the active checkbox is checked for your current patients. If a patient is no longer to your, coming to your practice, for example, he or she has moved away, you can clear this box and then filter for it when setting up recalls or mailings. For all new patients, this checkbox will be checked by default. There are three different types of addresses that can be obtained by selecting the corresponding radio button for each one. You have primary, billing, and shipping. If correspondence to the patient has been returned by the post office as undeliverable, use the bad address box to flag the incorrect address. You can exclude patients with bad addresses when setting up recalls or mailings. In the email fields of the patient profile, you can enter the patient's current email address. You can select the black envelope on the right hand side of this field and this will open up the email to send to the patient straight from here. If the patient consents to receive any marketing information such as discounts or other promotional offers you may send through the mail, make sure that the send mail checkbox is selected. You can query this field in several areas of the system. The ethnicity and the race fields have certain selections that have been hard coded into My Vision Express and cannot be changed. There are some fields in this profile tab that can be modified, such as preferred language, smoking status, title, suffix. These fields can be modified under file setup categories, and you can add to the list or remove from the list and tailor it to your specific practice. In this profile tab, you will also find a preferred language field. You can select from three different languages that you can print material in, English, French, and Spanish. Select the preferred language in this field and select the print in language box to make sure that all material that is printed is printed in the patient's preferred language. The patient profile provides a notes field where you can free type in any notes for your patient. These notes can also be deleted. At the bottom, you will also find a balance section that will show you any patient balances 
any insurance claim balances, and the total of those balances. You will also see a last order diagnosis section where you will find order information from the last order that the patient placed. You can save a photo of the patient in this profile. You can use a camera button to use a webcam that is set up. You can use a capture button to use a scanner or a specific camera interface by checking off the dialog box. You can se also select the open file folder to bring in any pictures that you may have saved to your computer. From the profile tab, you can also print labels for the patient by clicking on the labels button. You can also delete a patient and all records associated with it by selecting the delete button. This includes all appointments, exams, prescriptions, orders, and insurance claims. You must be an NV administrator to be able to see and use this button. Demographics tab. This tab includes employer, guarantor, referral, and patient financial information. In this tab, you can enter the patient's employer information. Under the CMS 1500 section, you can select if you have the signature on file. Select yes, and this will fill out box 12 and 13 of your HICFO claim form. Also indicate the date. In the guarantor section, indicate the person responsible for any payments for this patient. You can select self. You can select if the guarantor is already a patient established in your practice, or you can select other and indicate the relationship. The bill to guarantor box should be checked off, that way anything printed for this patient will be addressed to the guarantor. You can also use the deceased checkbox. This will deactivate the patient and mark them as they have deceased, and you can also indicate the date. In the referral section, you can indicate how the patient was referred to your practice. If they were referred by an existing patient, select the patient radio button and search for the patient you need. You can also use the physician radio button and search for the physician from your physician list. You can also select other. If you have a coupon or a flyer out in the mail, you can select from the drop down and indicate the referral. You can use the thank you box to indicate that a thank you has been sent for your referral. You can send a thank you letter right from the letters module here in the patient profile. In the financial section, you can specify a patient's credit card information. It will only be available here for reference purposes. It will not charge a patient. In this section, you can also use the accept checks box to indicate if you want to accept a check from a patient or not. You can also indicate any special discounts for materials or services, and you can also place the patient in collections. Insurance tab. In this tab, you will find the patient's insurance information. The insurance tab has two subtabs for every insurance company listed. Those two subtabs are details and authorizations. To add a new insurance plan for the patient, Click on Add and complete the fields below the data grid in the Details tab. In the Details tab, select the type of insurance that you're adding. You can also select a sequence for that insurance and use the Active box to make sure that it is active. When selecting the type and sequence for a plan, the combination of the values in these two fields must be unique. For example, if you added a vision insurance plan, for instance, and made it primary, other vision plans that you subsequently add cannot be primary as well. You can select the patient's insurance from your drop-down list. If a plan has been made to go with that insurance, you can also select the plan in the plan field. Enter the insurance ID for the member. If the insurance ID is a social security number that you entered in the profile tab, select the SSN button. You can also enter any policy or group number. Under the authorization subtab, you can enter the authorizations for the patient. Select the add button on the right hand side. You can enter the authorization number, any benefit or service information, indicate what type of authorization you have, 
Put in any allowance or copay information. Any allowance or copay information entered here will carry over to any orders placed. Any benefits and copayments set up under the authorizations subtab take precedence over any benefits set up in the insurance plan fee schedule setup. Under this insurance tab, you can also scan the patient's insurance card into the MBE database by selecting the Scan button. Vision RX tab. Here you can enter and modify prescriptions for your patients. This tab allows you to enter and modify prescriptions and create orders. It also displays all of the prescriptions that have been created for the patient from the exam module. This also includes expired and discontinued prescriptions, which will be displayed in a darker gray background. To add a new prescription, use one of the buttons in the Add New Rx group panel. The prescription window will open where you can enter all of the necessary information found on your patient's prescription. Start off by selecting the physician. If the physician is not found on the drop-down, you can select the ellipsis button on the right-hand side to add them to the list. You can select the duplication checkbox if you're duplicating a prescription, enter the Rx date, the expiry date, indicate any usage, enter specific lens material, style, or PD information that may be found on your prescription, use the checkbox under balance if you need to indicate a balance for the OD or the OS, you can also use the equals button for OU prescriptions. This will copy over the OD to the OS. In the sphere, cylinder, axis, and add sections, you can free type in the prescription or use the drop down selection. At the bottom of this window, you will also find a transpose button for your plus cylinder. You can select the transpose button and this will do all of your transposing for you. This will reduce any errors. You can use the fill button to go to an order and fill this prescription. You can also use the release checkbox to indicate that you're printing an RX for your in-house patient. You can also use the lock checkbox to lock the RX. If an RX is locked, only an NV administrator can unlock it and make changes. When entering a prescription for soft contact lenses, select your physician from the drop-down list. If the physician is not found on the drop-down, you can use the ellipsis button to the right-hand side. Enter your RX date, the expiry date. You can also indicate any dominant eye. Start off with the OD button, select OD. This will generate your inventory of contact lenses. Use the filters available to filter down the list and find the contact lens that you're looking for. Once you have found the lens and selected it, information for the contact will populate into the prescriptions window. You can use the equals button to copy over for OU prescriptions. Indicate if you're printing out the prescription for your patient with the release box. You can lock the prescription. You can also indicate a replacement schedule and any specific contact lens care. Once your prescriptions have been entered, you can edit an existing prescription by double clicking on it or you can highlight it and then click on the Modify button on the right-hand side. You also have the following options. You can use the Copy button to create a copy of the prescription selected, but with the current date. If you have an expired prescription that you want to reuse for an order, you can make a copy of it rather than editing the date in it. That way you can leave a consistent information trail by leaving the original prescription intact. Generate a prescription letter with the letters button. You can also delete or print a prescription. You can email, fax, or you can use the order form RX to generate a new order based on the prescription selected for the matching type. File tab. Under this tab, you will be able to attach computer files to the patient's record. To attach a file under the file tab, you can click the add button on the right. Enter a category and a description once the new line is generated. You can select from the drop-down of categories. To attach a file, select the Attach File button on the right-hand side. To link a file, make sure you select the Link External File box. To attach a scan, select the View button on the right-hand side.
the history tab. In this tab, you can see the patient's history of orders, appointments, exams, and claims. In the order subtab of the history tab, you can toggle between a summary line for each order or a listing of individual charges and payments by clicking on the Show Details button on the right-hand side. If you need to print a receipt for an order, select and highlight the order and select Receipts. To view a completed order, you can select Order Details. Under the Appointments subtab, you can add a new appointment for your patient by selecting the Add button on the right-hand side. To view an appointment's details, you can select and highlight the appointment and double-click on it, or you can select it and select the Details button on the right-hand side. If you are an administrator, you can erase an appointment by selecting it and selecting the Delete button. Use the Refresh button to refresh the data window and display modifications made to any of these appointments. Under the Exam subtab, you will find a history of the exams that the patient has had. You can add an exam by selecting the Add button on the right-hand side. To view the selected exam, highlight it and double-click, or you can select the Details button on the right-hand side. To duplicate an exam, you can select it and select Copy. If you are an administrator, you can delete an exam by selecting and highlighting and selecting the Delete button. Under the Claims tab, you can open a claim by double-clicking on it or highlighting the line and selecting the Details button on the right-hand side. To generate a duplicate claim, select the claim and click the Copy button. If you are an administrator, you can select the claim and delete it with the Delete button. Family tab, link together patients that belong to the same family. From this tab, you can link existing patients with each other. You can add a profile for a new family member, and you can disassociate previously linked profiles. New patient profiles that are added from this tab will share the same address and home telephone number from the profile that is currently open. The family members grid will show you all of the members in the patient's family. If you hover over each family member, you will show their insurance information. This grid has the following functions. To add a new family member, select the Add button. This will add a new patient in the database. To open an existing patient profile and link them to the Family tab, select the Search button. This will open up the Search Patient screen where you can add a new member. If you want to open the patient profile for a particular family member, select them and select Modify. If you want to disassociate a family member, once you have selected them, select the Disassociate button to remove that person from the list of family members. VSP Packing Slips tab. Here, you can generate the doctor report and packing slips for VSP authorization using the VSP interface. In order to use the VSP Packing Slips section, you will need to have the VSP interface set up. Also, VSP authorizations must be first processed from the Authorization subtab of the Insurance tab in the Patient Profile. The Health tab. Health information shared between the Patient Profile and the Exam. The Health tab in the Patient Profile shares the same health information as the Health tab in the Exam module. Here, you can capture any health information for your patient, such as medications being taken, allergies, any problems, any vital signs, and etc. You can go more in detail about the Health tab in an exam video. Custom Fields tab. Here, you can create additional fields to get more information about the patient. In the Custom Fields tab, you can see custom fields that were defined during the setup under File, Setup, Patient Custom Fields. In this list, you will be able to give your fields a specific name, create your question, and display it in the Custom Fields tab. Interactions tab. The Interactions tab is divided into three additional subtabs, Correspondence, Consents, and Messages. Under this tab, you can keep track of every time the patient record was accessed, every consent letter created for the patient, and every time an employee message was sent regarding a patient. The interaction record includes the date and the time when the interaction took place and the name of the employee that created it. The employee can edit the category fields and the note fields at the time when the interaction gets created under the notes section. You can add a note to the latest interaction by double clicking on the highlighted line or highlight the line and select modify on the right hand side. This will open up a modify interactions window 
where you can specify a category and enter any notes. Under the Consents tab, you can click the Add button on the right-hand side to create a new consent letter for the patient. You can double-click on an existing consent record to open the original consent letter. If you want to replace that, you can select Replace File on the right-hand side to browse for a replacement file in your computer. Under the Messages sub-tab, click on the Messages button on the right-hand side to create a new message Click the Add Message button to create a new message that refers to the current patient record in the Employee Messages window. Under the Interactions tab, you can create an interaction alert for important notes that you want members of your staff to see when they access this particular patient record. To create an interaction alert, double-click on the latest interaction to open the Modify Interaction dialog. Here, you will enter the category and your note. Select the Alert box at the bottom of the window. If you want to limit who gets to see this alert, you can select the user from the Send To field. Select a user or a specific security group. You can also specify an alert level, either global, module, or item. This concludes this video tutorial on how to use the patient profile. Thank you for choosing My Vision Express.